We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. Stryker is a leading medical technology manufacturer with a mission to make healthcare better and its focus on meeting the needs of the community in an ever-changing time. Stryker knows that some of the best minds come from first and want to support your career path and your first journey as a mentor or volunteer. Visit careers.strykr.com forward slash first to learn more. I'm Tanner Dungan with First Updates Now. Today I'm with Team 857 Superior RoboWorks from Houghton, Michigan. I'm with Gabrielle, John, PJ, and uh, I'm going to be talking to you about the intake. So uh, basically we have our intake on over the bumpers on a four bar, which takes it down and we take it in. It hits this pick bar and then the rest of them run it up here. Yep. And then that leads us into our serializer. Serializer keeps them from getting stuck by running it backwards. Um, and then we have the esophagus. And John, you want to go into that? So we have our esophagus here, which is mostly, it's mostly manual or automatic. So we have these beam brake sensors down here at the bottom. And when you break the sensor, it starts running unless there is a ball and this top up here breaking the sensor it's up hidden back here so when you break it it won't run so that way we don't push them up into a shooter when we don't want them to um it's just belts with some ptfe backing here and so i guess that leads to the shooter which we have programmed so once it's at full speed and our limelight is aimed we can run this ignoring the uh beam brake sensor and it'll shoot out and we've gone through several iterations some of them were more consistent than this one is but this is what we have so you want to run the shooter so we have two flywheels here and we previously had four but then we decided that was too much time to spin up so we dropped it back down to two and then these plastic guards keep us from chewing up the balls because we like broken a lot with that so, yeah. So we built our robot on top of our um, on top of our electronics and our battery. So in order to kind of get around that, we created. Um, can you put the intake up? We created. Um, so this panel that's part of the serializer, this front panel here, it's very easy to remove. Um, it's got dual lock, and so we can just pop it right out. Thanks, PJ. Yep, we can just pop it right out. And now we have full access to our battery. And then we can also pop this out, which is our back, which is our bottom panel. And that way we can get to more electronics there. And it also makes it very easy for us to remove our PTFE. Um, PTFE likes to tear very easily. And once it's torn, it kind of tears a lot, kind of like when you like rip a plastic bag. So we just have it bolted on and then we can take it off really easily. And then as John said earlier, we have more PTFE on the back of the robot up there. And it makes it, we, didn't permanently fixate it so if it breaks it's easy to take off so with that we just put on some blue duct tape and secured it well with that and so if we ever need to change it it's easy enough to just take off the duct tape and put more duct tape on and then all these removable parts are held down with um, dual lock and that's about it yeah very interesting one thing I noticed about your robot also is you have the gondola kind of style climber uh, John if you want to talk a little bit about that just address it for a little bit for me so we have a, a rev linear motion kit to lift it up. And then we have these black straps to help pull it down because I, I don't think we can lift it with these orange ropes. We decided to go for this like nesting design for the elevator. But then once we're climbed up, we have this up here, which we call the gondola. It's, uh, we believe it's a 98 to one gear reduction from a snowblower motor with a worm gear to these two uh, Banabots wheels. Yeah, so we can, self-balance it's pretty nice all right thank you very much guys again i've been tanner duncan with first updates now this is team 857 from houghton superior robo works thank you thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now
Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. 